Hello there, Sagittarius. Hope you're doing well. This is going to be your reading for June 16th through June 30th. So um, thank you so much for all the likes and subscribes and comments. I just love how active you guys are on all the videos. It makes me really happy. And thank you for all the personal readings, the energy sessions, and the contacts through Instant Go. I have been so, so busy helping you guys out, and I'm loving it. That is what I'm here for. So if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website with the different options available for you. Um, I kind of have something in there for everyone. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy therapy. So that's good news for you. It doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients, you know, they're spread all over the US, Canada, even as far as Europe. So the space between us does not make a difference. So uh, the link for my website is below. I have a really awesome 15% off discount for first time clients. So you can try it out if you've never done it before. And right now is a really powerful time to be having any sort of energy therapy done because we are approaching eclipse season. And the more balanced and centered um, that we can become now and you know, working to let go of things now that aren't serving us, the easier uh, it will be for us to go through the eclipses, which are going to force things to come to an end and release that no longer are serving us. So again, you can go to my website, read about it, check out the testimonials. You can email me if you have questions or you're unsure of something. And again, take advantage of the 15% discount for first time clients. So um, that is that. And then you can also contact me on instant go if you just want to get an answer to a quick question. I usually can respond pretty quickly to the instant go questions. So um, that is that. We are building to a full moon that will be uh, towards the end of the month, uh, around the 27th or the 28th, depending on where you live. And that will be in Capricorn. So I'm curious, Sagittarius, what's been going on with you guys? What do you need to know for June? June at 16th. Okay, so my Sagittarius, let's see. The first card we have is the Seven of Swords. So have you been dealing with somebody that has been a little bit dishonest with you about something? Maybe an air sign um, or someone with a lot of air in their chart. The Seven of Swords is very much about like um, getting away with something or not communicating all the details or something's being left out. So um, I don't, maybe you are aware of this or maybe you're not aware that this is going on, but it's definitely something is happening behind your back um, that you may not be aware of. So this may be a little message to be more aware. <laughs> um, but, you know, it could be somebody like talking bad about you behind your back or somebody not being honest with you. So maybe you are in a relationship and you're unsure of your partner. Um, or maybe you've been sneaky. Maybe you have something going on that you aren't fully communicating to your partner or being honest with. So this can go either ways. I'm not really picking up a definite, um, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. So be aware of that. But the next card I have is the nine of coins, which is like wishes fulfilled. Um, I, I kind of feel like this is actually the partner that you have been dealing with. So this nine of coins, if this is your partner, they're really solid and very independent and self-sufficient. And I think that's what you really like about them because you also like to be independent and self-sufficient. So um yeah, I'm feeling really good energy around this person, whoever this is. It could be an earth sign for you or um, somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. And the next card I have is the Six of uh, Wands, which is a card of celebration and really like being surrounded by community that loves and supports you. So uh, maybe you are, if you are in a relationship or you are dating, maybe you have brought your partner around your friends and family and they have really approved of who you've chosen. 
Um, so that would be good. But yeah, the Six of Wands is definitely a card of celebration. So I feel like you're really proud of this partner that you're with or this person that you've been dealing with or dating. And maybe it's somebody in your family that is kind of having, talking badly or, you know, is not being supportive of your situation. Again, this is a general reading, so you kind of have to just take what resonates with you. But I'm curious to see what else do we have going on for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so now it's getting more clear. So I've got the double card that has showed up, which can be an addiction or a bad habit or something that you, something that you're doing that is not like positive or supportive to your best self. So it's making me think that this actually is you and you have something that you're doing or dealing with that is not positive or it's not healthy for you. Um, again, it can be an addiction. It can be, you know, sexual addiction, drug addiction, um, something like that. So, but part of me feels like you want to, to work through this like you you don't want to be here anymore because I think this partner that you have is pretty amazing and if they don't know about this little addiction or this little thing that you have going on I think it would be um not good if they did find out I think they would lose a little bit of respect for you if that makes sense so I feel like you want to deal with it before it gets too out of hand or before it like really affects your relationship. But the thing with the double card is you would think that these, you know, characters are victims down here, but actually the chains around the neck are really loose. So it's really up to you if you're ready to break this habit and pattern, take the chains off and release yourself from whatever this is that you've been doing or that's happening. And again, right now is a really powerful time for letting go of things that aren't serving us anymore. So use the energies of the cosmos and the universe to break this habit or pattern or addiction that's not serving you anymore, Sagittarius. Um, and if you are cross-watching for a Sagittarius, just be aware of this. And um, I do feel that they want to work through this and let go of this on their own. But if you do know of it, Try to be um, supportive and compassionate around the challenge that they're having with it and know that they do want to work through it. But I definitely see them overcoming it because right after that, I've got the world card, which is um, completion, cycles, coming to an end, releasing karma. So I again, I definitely feel Sagittarius, you want to work through this. You want to let it go. You know it's not healthy and good for you. And you are supported right now to work through that and let it go, which is really positive. So I think just stay with it and face it. And, you know, we've even got the High Priestess card right here, which is like your higher knowing, your intuition, your higher self. It's like your soul knows that this is not good for you and you're ready to let it go. And again, this, this can be anything. It can be, you know, food addiction, cigarettes, drinking, Anything that's not supporting you or anything that's done in excess that is taking away from you being your best. Um, but I feel like you have all the knowledge that you need to know what you want to do. Um, so I think really with three major arcana cards, you are on the verge of a big breakthrough within yourself, Sagittarius. And I think that's really, really positive. Um, so let me see what else we have for you. Okay. So the next card I have is the King of Swords. So this could be somebody that you're dealing with. 
but I don't know why I'm feeling that this is actually you and you're pretty shut down from your emotions. Um, and it might be because you're dealing with some inner personal issues right now, and so you're just a little bit closed off. Um, so, again, if you're cross-watching, that may be why you're having a hard time connecting emotionally with your Sagittarius. But the King of Swords is like, he's very logical, and he knows what he wants, and he's good at making decisions. So, again, um, and this came after after you're going through this cycle or working through this um, addiction or bad habit or pattern that you have, then you like come out as the king of swords. So yeah, you might, you might have a hard time letting this go. Actually, I'm really feeling you're gonna have a hard time letting this go. But with the 10 of swords here, I do see it coming to an end and being done. So the 10 of swords is, over it's it's quick um, but it also can represent you know betrayal and being stabbed in the back or being taken advantage of or something so you've got these two cards so I feel like you are really growing and going through some things within yourself that have held you back in a way and again I'm feeling this is you that you're dealing with this this is not somebody else I feel the person that you have in your life, Sagittarius, they are solid. That you are growing right now and going through some things that you really, really, really need to. And it's very, very positive. So, you know, once you face this issue and you overcome it, like the Ten of Swords is very fast. It's like it's done, it's over, um, and it, it's complete. And then the final card, oh, I love it, it makes so much sense, is the star card, which is rest and rejuvenation and coming back to your true self and your true north. So I do feel this may be, you know, a, a tough um, time for you, but I feel like it needs to happen and you're ready to face what this is, let it go, deal with the consequences and then come back fully into yourself, rest, rested and rejuvenated and solid again. Because, you know, this person that is here for you, I feel like they do want to be with you. So the more solid that you can be within yourself, the more this person is going to be, you know, have a desire to be with you. And I feel if you communicate with them, that you're having these um, inner issues and challenges, I think they would be very supportive of you. I'm not feeling that they are going to leave, but it is going to be it, you're, it's going to take you, Sagittarius, to really face it like head on. I don't think you can like sneak or get away with this anymore, um, or like not face it within yourself. I feel like it's kind of coming to the surface whether you're ready or not. Um, let me see, any last messages for you? <laughs> yeah, so the final message is spiritual growth. So like I was saying, this really is a time you're growing, you're letting go, um, you're at a very pivotal, powerful point in your life, Sagittarius, so it's all good. You know, the High Priestess is about spiritual growth and inner knowing. The World card is growth. You've got the Star card, which is like rejuvenation and growth from the inside. So you're totally supported right now in what you're going through. And I just want you to know that. So keep trusting the process. And again, if you're cross-watching for a Sagittarius, just be really um, patient with them right now. I feel like they are going to have a tough time going through this. But just be patient. It, it is coming to an end and a close. With the World card and the Ten of Swords, those are both endings. So this, this struggle that they've had, it is coming to an end, which is positive. Okay. So you'll have to let me know if that resonates with you. Um, if not, you can always watch your moon sign or your rising sign. 
and I am not able to respond to all the comments, but I do read them and I really love all of them. So thank you for taking the time to comment on the videos. And if you are a Sagittarius or you're dealing with a Sagittarius and you want a personal reading that goes deeper into um, your specific situation, I would love to do that for you. So the link is below. That will take you to the web, my website um, with the different options available for you for readings, okay? So that is it for now. I wish you all the best. Stay strong through this and I will see you for the July readings, okay? Take care. Bye.